G'day guys, it's Will here from Rosebud Mowers again. Just wanted to share with you guys a bit of a catastrophic failure, um, which really, I guess, pushes the point of keeping up with maintenance on your outdoor power equipment. This doesn't look like much here, but this is actually an engine out of a customer's Kubota tractor. Um, and this is probably the, one of the worst catastrophic failures that we've, we've seen, all to do with lack of maintenance. Now, this particular incident happened purely because they didn't service it regularly enough and the engine got hot. Um, when we drained the radiator in it, it just puked out with rust. Um, and that is, was completely avoidable. So what we're gonna show you is how important it is and what can happen because this rebuild is now costing the customer upwards of five grand. Um, the machine, the block has to be machined, it has to have all new pistons, has to have a brand new head because that's non-machinable. Um, so once we're done with it, basically this engine's gonna be brand new, but it obviously comes at a cost. Um, five grand, if the maintenance was caught up, it would have cost them 300 bucks in a service. So a huge difference. Um, so if you come around here, I wanna show you what happened. Um, so on the table, we've obviously got your three pistons, being a three cylinder engine. Um, initially, we thought that only cylinder three um, had damage and you can see one of the valves has actually dropped out of the head and then started hitting on the top of the piston causing the valve to completely bend um, and then be basically pelted up and down on top of the piston a number of times so this is pretty bad this is probably the worst that we've seen um, so upon pulling the engine down or stripping it down we've also found that it has overheated and gotten hot at some point because basically you can check out all the different uh, pistons and you can see wear marks um, and that obviously dictates with the bore on each one of your um, cylinder cylinders on your uh, block here you'll see wear marks and that is basically from it overheating or getting hot just because of cooling um, the initial damage to the head was caused by a valve keeper falling out and you can see that it's now elongated it's non-machinable the head needs to be replaced and all of this, all of this could have been completely avoided if they had just had the machine serviced, um, flushed the radiator, it would have been fine. So moral of the story, keep your servicing up and you will never have an issue like this. Thanks guys, have a good day.